Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you have been wondering how can you use the keyframes feature in CapCut and maybe other videos made it seem very complicated to use. In this video, I'll oversimplify it and make it very easy for you to use. So follow up with me till the very end of this video and let's jump right into it. First, let's get something out of the way. Let's go ahead and open Play Store or App Store depends on what device you're on. Find CapCut from there and make sure you have the app updated to the latest version for everything to work properly in the app. Finally, you can go ahead and quit the store and let's go ahead and open CapCut. Go ahead and add your video if you want to create a new project, of course. So find the video that you want to use and add keyframes on and tap on adding the bottom right corner. Now let's see here, find the spot that you want to the keyframe or the thing that you want to keyframe start. Let's say I want to start here. I'm going to use a sticker to make it even easier for you. Tap on sticker. Let's wait for the stickers to load up. You can use pictures, videos, anything. I'm just going to use stickers to make it easy for you. Let's choose this uh, pointer sticker right here, this index sticker. You can find a new one from here. Let's use this one right there. Let me just adjust the size and the position. Zoom it out. Let's drag it to the left side. Now, assuming this is the part that you want the sticker to start in, just tap on keyframe to add the first keyframe. Now, drag the sticker and the video along each other. So I'm gonna drag the video first and then I'm gonna put the uh, sticker on the next position. And I'm gonna keep on doing that again and again. And as you can see, keyframes will be added uh, automatically in your sticker in the bottom right here. As you can see, I'm just gonna keep um, tracking maybe the object. Let's say the object started going down. Let's follow it with the sticker. Keep doing that again and again and again. These The keyframes will be added automatically. Let's go ahead and try out our video and play it like that. And as you can see, guys, the keyframe feature is not that complicated to use. And I hope this video has proven that for you. And I hope it was useful as well. If it was, please like and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos like this one. And also leave your questions in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer every single one of them. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.